YouTubers. I'm gonna teach you more about adjectives today. So this is adjectives number two. And first, I usually get a lot of questions about I'm using grammar words that people are not familiar with. So I'm gonna try to explain them first. Okay, we have male nouns. All That's all of the male, no, that's all of the nouns that has the article en in front of it, like a boy, en gut. All the neutral ones are nouns which have the article et. A house, et hus. And for this, I'm not gonna care about the female nouns because I really don't care about them because I never say I something. And a lot of people tend to not use female anymore, and some do. But since this is my videos, I couldn't care less. And then uh, we have plural. This means that it's more than one, like apples. And single, that's apple. And then we have definite. That's when it is a specific thing, like the tree or those trees. This can be both single and plural. And then we have indefinite, which is when it's anyone, like tree, well, a tree, and trees, just lots of trees. It's not a specific tree or a specific group of trees. I hope you understand that and then I now can go on to the adjectives. Thank you. Yes, um, we're gonna do it like this. English, male, neutral, and then plural, both indefinite and definite, and definite single. Okay, hope you got that. If not, pause and move back and do it all over again. Okay, um... Pretty, pam, pant, pena, big, stor, stort, store, long, lang, langt, lange, strong. Stark, starkt, starke. Yellow, gul, gult, gule. Okay, so this is very basic because there are so many exceptions to this way of doing it that it's not even funny to start to make this video. But as you see here, you have the word in male. It's the very shortest. Uh, version like pen, long, gul, stor. And when you have it in neutral, you add a T at the end. And when you have plural or definite single, you add an E at the end. Like pen, pene. That's basically the point of how you do this. Uh, I can't even try to find all the rules to double consonants being removed and letters changing place and it's just, well, this is the basic <laughs> and I have some sentences for you to make it easy, easier and I will even try to uh, put in some of the transformation the adjectives did on the last video. So if you haven't seen that video you should probably go and watch it. Well, a yellow ball, en gul ball, more ye not, well, a more yellow tree, et gulere tre, and a yellow tree, et gult. Tre. Fifteen yellow roses. Femten gule 
roser. Three big children. Tre store barn. A bigger man. En større mann. A big head. Ett stort hode. A long river. En lang elv. Five longer roads. Fem lengre veier. Five long rivers. Fem lange elver. Okay, so you actually have to just... All the adjectives you want to do, put them in a schedule like this with the, the English, the male version of it, the neutral version of it, and the uh, plural and definite single version of it. And I hope you you get it because it's kind of easy, at least with all the basic that fit into this. <laughs> so I hope you find them and don't bump on into all of the ones that doesn't fit. Well, uh, I hope this was good. And now I have one last thing to say. This is for my American friend John and my friend Espen. Uh, and all of the people living in Songen of Jordana. Stau nu pau, superlag fra Songdal. Woo! And I have to apologize to all the people from Songdal because I really don't know the dialect, but this was a challenge. Challenge! Stau nu pau, superlag fra Songdal. Yes!